today's video, we're going to be fixing the leaking master cylinder reservoir. Okay, now I don't have no fancy machine to suck the fluid out of here or anything like that. So, what I'm going to do today is just use one of these and uh, squirt it into one of these. And that should get the fluid out, or at least I'm hoping anyway. Well, we're started. Well, after a few minutes, that's uh, pretty much empty doll uh, sticker rag in there to get that last bit out, and it's time to get the uh, reservoir off. I have not removed one of these before, so this is all new to me, but in there somewhere is a bolt. And I think if I take that out, that should be able to just pull off and then it's off. I have ordered the new seals. They are probably two days away. So let's get it off and we'll wait for the seals. And that is that. Now that that's off, I can see how wet that uh, rubber seal is. So, uh, We'll get those seals out and wait for the new ones to come. Until then, I'll see you then, which will be right now. Okay, it is now two days later and parts have arrived, but in between, I did read some bad reviews on this rubber kit that I bought saying that the reservoir seals are incorrect so i thought oh let's go grab the uh reservoir off the statesman and uh, see if we can use any parts of those just in case everything doesn't fit so that's the statesman one that's the vk one as you can see they're completely different different seals different mounting at the bottom that screws from in the top whereas the vk screws from the side but here we go, here's the Protec kit, part number that, if anyone playing at home wants that. Now I haven't opened it yet, but it comes with a new under lid seal, which I wasn't expecting. And those seals there are the ones that I want and they look from in the packet to be the ones that I'm after. So I'm gonna crack it open and see if they're the right ones. Oh, we should just put a little hole in there so we don't lose anything out of the packet we may need in future. I do not plan on rebuilding the bottom half of the master cylinder as uh, I believe it still to be good. So let's get one of these out. 
and hopefully it's the same as uh, what we've got. Ooh, pretty close. Little different on the sides. The center hole is definitely smaller. Ooh, that's quite tight. But it fits. It damn well fits and goes in quite nicely too. So we'll get the other one out as well. And as you can see, they just pull out. And let's find the other one, which matches the same as the other installed one. And this one, oh, look at that, I've made a mess. Silly boy. Let's clean that up before we put it back together. So, that should fix our issue, I'm hoping. Um, shouldn't have to re-bleed any of that because we still have fluid down the holes. We put the reservoir back on and the hardest thing is going to be trying to get that uh, nut. Before we go any further, that's uh, the new seals in the bottom of the, uh, or top of the master cylinder. I don't think that uh, last angle did that any justice, but I've just quickly cleaned up the inside of the uh, reservoir as it had a, quite a lot of sediment from the previous brake fluid, so it probably needed to be changed anyway. First, so we'll push that back in. Oh, that's nice and tight. Nice and tight, so. <coughs> Screw in there. Now we've got to find the hole. Where did that go? This is going to be the hardest bit of it all. Getting that back in there. I am actually going to use the lid from the Statesman because that's in better condition than the BK one so get that rubber out, give this a nice clean up and install that new under rubber put some fluid in it and uh, job done a nice easy video they don't come around too often so but enjoy them while they last so there's that it says on there fluid sides so we'll just press it in nice seal in there the only issue I'm gonna have have I got enough fluid now to uh, fill it back up let's see oh look at that golden nectar oh delicious very clean that is pretty much all I have and it's just a tick under full so next time I go to the parts store I'll uh, get the same bottle Castrol brake fluid dot four we'll get our new lid and pop it on
Ooh, it's a lot tighter. Clip. Done. All right, that's the uh, job done. All I need to do now is uh, get me brake bleeding buddy Georgia back out to uh, go through bleeding the brakes again and it should be good. But the funny thing to notice on that was as soon as I took that top reservoir off and uh, there was no fluid in there, it stopped leaking. So that was definitely where the leak was coming from. The booster is now dry, so I'll keep an eye on that over the next few days, make sure it's not happening again, but shouldn't. On that note, I'd like to say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.